Chrome 45 is rolling out now. There's new ECMAScript 2015 functionality, improvements to app install banners, and a new security feature to ensure that no one is messing with your code. From the Empire Hotel in New York City, let's take a look at what's new in Chrome. Over the past year, we've added a number of new JavaScript features defined in the ECMAScript 2015 specification, formerly known as ES6. In Chrome 45, we've added support for arrow functions. Beyond the shorter syntax, they eliminate the need for dot .bind or the var self equals this hack necessary for anonymous functions because they lexically bind the this value. Arrow functions may take some getting used to, but once you've played with them, they become second nature. Jason Orndorff has a detailed post on arrow functions on hacks.mozilla.org. You can find the link in the description below. There are new methods on the array object like from, of, fill, find, and find index that make dealing with arrays much easier. On Android, you can now defer the add to home screen banner and show it at a more convenient time when it doesn't interrupt the application flow. Simply prevent the default action by calling prevent default on the before install prompt event and save a reference to the event for later. Then when you're ready, re-trigger the prompt by calling prompt on the stored event. We've also added the ability to install native apps directly from your site. It works in much the same way as add to home screen. Your site needs to be served over HTTPS, have a web app manifest file that includes information about your native app. Then if a user visits your site at least twice over a two week period, they'll see the banner. Check the link in the description below for full details. Oh, perfect. Um, could I get the fruit cup, please? Awesome. Now we're, uh, okay, right. To help protect users, sub-resource integrity provides a mechanism for the browser to verify that a fetched resource has been delivered without unexpected manipulation. You can use this to mitigate the risk of a compromised server or ensure that only carefully reviewed third-party code is executed. This helps to ensure that the expected resource is used, not just any resource that lives at a particular URL. The current spec and implementation covers only script and link rel equals stylesheet elements. Once the file has been retrieved, the browser compares the hash of the file to the hash provided by the integrity attribute of the element. If the hashes don't match, the browser won't use it. Oh, perfect. Uh, hey, this isn't what I ordered. Oh well. To learn more about sub-resource integrity, check out the link and samples in the description below. These are just a few of the new features in Chrome 45 for developers. You can get more details in the links below. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 46 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome. But for now, it's time to grab a drink and sit by the pool.